the day after Christmas and I just wanted to do an unboxing to show you guys two really cool things that I got and yeah stay tuned okay so the first thing I'll be unboxing is this iLynx um, Viper three-piece pair gaming set it has an RGB keyboard a jumbo pink RGB mouse pad and an RGB mouse open this and it gives you like a little preview of like what's inside it tells you about like each item and it looks so cute you guys oh my gosh it's so adorable um, flip it over you see this the box is a little damaged it was the only one that I could find I found this at a Ross dress for less and my aunt got it for me as a, pres as a Christmas present <laughs> she's so sweet yeah but let's open this bad boy up see what we're working with I wanted to take a minute to show you guys my current setup um, I upgraded my old chair to this uh, Shiro pink and purple gaming chair and it's very cool. I'm still using the avocado cushion. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Right now I'm using this keyboard and mouse set that I got from Amazon. Um, everything else is the same. So right now I'm just gonna... I also have this... Um, <laughs> Pusheen Gamer mouse pad. Which is kind of dirty right now. But um, probably tell. I'm gonna switch this, that, and the mouse out. And test it out and see how this goes. Alright, let's do this. Another thing about this set is that it was the only one that I could find at Ross. It was the last one. Um, I could not find a price on it. And I took it up to the front. The lady looked all over the box with me. We could not find a price. So she typed something in the computer and I told her I just wanted to know how much it was. I was expecting it to be like $30 to $50. And she's like, it's $9.99. And I'm like, only ten dollars for this whole thing she's like yeah i was like okay cool i'll take it when i got home however i found the price tag <laughs> i don't know how we both missed it like me and the ross um associate missed it but it's supposed to be 26.99 but she gave it to me for 9.99 which was cool went ahead and got the tape open on both sides and the bottom it looks like this just flips up like that boom pretty easy to get the box open thank goodness <laughs> here is the rgb pink mouse pad out of the packaging it has the non grip slip backing um, i've already taken my old keyboard and mouse and mouse pad off my desk so now my desk is bare and i'm about to put the new stuff on there i will say one thing this cord that came with the RGB mouse pad is black, whereas like the cords to this keyboard and mouse were pink. So I'm kind of like bummed about that, but it's okay because you know the majority of the product is pink anyway, so it's, it's all good. It doesn't really bother me that much, but I just wanted to point that out. Like this. Okay. So next is the mouse. Is like an up close look at it. No buttons on the side. It's pretty clickety clickety. It has the roll thing. That thing, I'm sure it changed the RGBs. It's the bottom. Pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna try it out, but I'm not sure if I'll continue to use it because my old mouse does have like the two buttons on the side. There's always a little rolly in the clicky clicky too, so I don't know. But it feels nice. Um, this one's clicky clicky. This one's silent. I kind of like that. <laughs> but I like the clickety clack. The cord is white, which is better than black. Um, it's weird that the cords, all the cords don't coordinate, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cute. Pretty cute. Reminds me of like a transformer for some reason or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, hook this up. Okay, and last but not least is the mini keyboard. So it has just um, limited amount of keys just for like the gaming functions, which is what I really needed. It has also has this attached armrest. It's hard, but it's cute. Um, yeah, it looks cute, basic, you know, it's a little non-slip grip thingies on the 
corners of it. Um, this cord is also white. Again, I'm gonna test this out. I don't know if I'll continue to use it like as like my main thing because I kind of like having like, you know, the full keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up now. All right, you guys, so I got everything hooked up and installed. And yeah, I wasn't really expecting much. I had to close the curtain because like the RGB seems to be kind of low. But I mean, you know, it's not bad for a starter set, I guess. I don't know, I'm tr I guess, I don't know. Um, the RGB around the mouse pad seems kind of cool. I have a set on like pink, purple, blue, and violet. I don't know. We kind of have a set to that color. Um, trying to figure out how to change the backlighting on the little keyboard and the mouse. But um, I'm not really. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, the mouse pad's alright. I don't know that I'm really feeling the keyboard and the mouse, but I'm gonna keep going. It came with this uh little manual book. I'm about to see if it'll tell me how to change the colors on this keyboard or something. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, upon reading the instructions for the uh, keyboard, it clearly states the color cannot be changed. That's a fucking bummer because, I mean, what? <laughs> uh... That really, uh, that really kind of sucks. Even the mouse is kind of like, you know, just going through all the different colors. But you're not telling me. I'm just stuck with this, like, sunrise RGB, like. <sighs> it's kind of lame. I mean, you know, it's RGB, so whatever, but it doesn't help. That's not, I mean, I mean, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> But okay, all right, all right, I'm just gonna move on and test it out. But yeah, now I already know I'm about to, I'm about to switch to my little keyboard <laughs> after I run a game of Valorant or something. All right. Also, upon reading the mouse and on um, the portion of the instruction manual, it also states that um, the colors cannot be changed. So I'm just stuck with a color oscillating mouse a non-color RGB also like <laughs> solid RGB color um keyboard and I guess I can change the colors on the freaking mouse pad because I changed it to the, the colors that you see now but um manual actually doesn't have anything about the <laughs> it actually doesn't say anything about the mouse pad it only talks about the mouse and that's it. Like this, that's kind of wild. But the mouse pad is on the picture, on, on the front of the instruction manual, which is weird as hell. I don't, I don't know, y'all. It's a little jank, but there's a little button, a little button right there. And when I press it, it changes the colors. Okay, it looks like I found a setting in which the, um, it's kind of like oscillating like the mouse. It's not really synced up, but, um, let's see. But I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. I guess I would just let it oscillate through colors like the mouse. Instead of keeping it solid like the keyboard. <laughs> Alright, let's try to run a game with this. Let's see how we gonna do. The mouse fits my hand pretty good. Um, and it moves around well. Of course the cord is kind of wonky, you know, I just took it out of the box, but um other than that, it moves around pretty well on the screen. I feel like Let's try to run some Valorant and see what happens.
Yeah, it was a very cheap set, which I do. I got it for 10 bucks, but I wouldn't, I don't know that I'd recommend it. Um, the coolest thing is just the mouse pad. Um, and the mouse isn't so bad. The keyboard, the keyboard is, it functions, but it's, it's really not all that. Um, so yeah, I will be switching back to my old keyboard and probably my old mouse as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep using the RGB mouse pad or if I'm going to switch back to my, just my pink and white Pusheen Gamer one, but, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Pretty much this was it, you know, $10 set, it's not bad for like, you know, real beginner gamers. I know the box said like pro gamers, but it's for like beginners, maybe kids, dare I say, I don't know. But, yeah, it doesn't really, uh, this, the keyboard did feel, like, this armrest thing felt nice. It has, like, a little, like, curve kind of thing, a groove where it can comfortably rest my hand. Um, the keys aren't too bad. Like I said, it's functional, it works. <laughs> but, um, as far as aesthetics go, it's really not all that, like, what I thought it'd be. I thought the RGB, RGB would be brighter, that should be able to change the colors, but, yeah. So I'm just going to go back to my regular keyboard and the mouse, again, very cute, very functional. It works, um, no slide buttons and can't change the colors. Um, RGB is a, about the same level of brightness as the keyboard, I'd say. Kind of dull in person. On camera, it looks all right. But um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go back to my regular mouse. But um, that was it for this. Overall, I think I'd rate it like a, oh, I don't know, maybe a 6.5 out of 10. You know, it was all right. But, um, yeah, again, got it from, uh, got it from Ross Dress for Less. So now I've just switched back to my old mouse and keyboard, but I kept the RGB, um, the pink RGB gaming pad out there and I think it looks pretty good right now I just have it all set to solid uh, blue but I think this looks a lot better and feels a lot better than the other keyboard and mouse um, I think I'll just switch between the Pusheen and the RGB um, mouse pad I'm still gonna keep the other keyboard and mouse I don't know in case of emergencies or something but um, yeah but for right now this is my current setup. I think it looks pretty good. I'm I'm pretty satisfied with it right now. Unbox. And it is another Christmas gift. Um it is a pink record player. Check it out. So this is it. It is so cute. Like I've always wanted a record player. Not surprising one for Christmas. Like I said, she is the absolute best. Was not expecting this at all. But um, the brand is Crosley and it's a Cruiser Deluxe. It's portable. Like this is the back of the box. Look how adorable this is. Like, stop. On the side of the box, it has some information about it. What it includes. And the brand. Okay. There's thing on the box. I have the manual and the warranty in here. This isn't the bag it came in. I actually opened this up yesterday during Christmas. Did not want me to make sure that it worked. Then, but then I, I immediately put it right back in the box. And I wanted to an unboxing video, but yeah, I put them in here. Um, the instruction manual and the warranty, so you know they wouldn't get damaged. And I know where they are. It is out of the box. Um, it did come in plastic, but the plastic ripped. So I put the cart the cartons back on it though and put it back in the box. Completely out of the box. It is so stinking cute, y'all. Like I cannot look at this little briefcase, like yo. It also has these um things on the bottom of it, you know, to, so when you put it on a flat surface, like it's kind of like a little stand. And when you open it. There she is in all her cute glory. Like, check this out. It is so cute. So adorable. Here we have the arm, you know, connected to the little needle. 
that button, this is the pitch, the volume, auto stop on and off, the speed, that's the little lever that works the arm. This little piece is for like if you get like smaller um, vinyls, you can put that on there because they have bigger holes. And then here's the turntable. And so this is it again. It is so cute. Denim, watch out. You guys are wondering, I bet you guys are wondering how we're going to test this bad boy out. Check it out. This is my very first ever vinyl record. My aunt got me um, soul. And it um, has jazz compositions and arrangement. Arrangements. <laughs> But it's from the movie Soul. We actually, this was the first movie we watched together in a while. So it was pretty cool. Like, I opened this up first on Christmas and I was like so happy just about getting this. Like, I was really just happy to display it like on my walls, you know? Because I have a lot of stuff on my walls currently. <laughs> and I just was like excited to like ex like display it. And I was like, that's so cool. But then I just kept opening gifts and boom. So. <laughs> um, it's very nice on the back it tells you like there's two sides and it tells you the songs like on each side and then when you open it ooh, ooh, here's some pretty cool art on the inside isn't that beautiful like oh that's so dope to me and then also right here is the ooh, actual sleeve that the record is in isn't that so neat to me it's so neat it also has the songs on each side credits yeah it's very cool very 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 cool this is also the um, ADC adapter that comes with the um, record player so I'm gonna get an extension cord to plug this bad boy in here's the record Start her up. So, you just saw me um, unbox and try out the Crosley uh, record player, and it was pretty awesome. I think it's it's so cute. Like, it's I don't know much about record players, and admittedly, you know, this is my first one, but it's very cute. It functions perfectly. Sounds good. I like it. You can even hook it up to Bluetooth, or um, they also have, like, an aux cord port if you wanted to hook up to, like, extra speakers if you're not satisfied with the sound coming out of the the sound quality from the just the speakers on the device itself then you can try that out i haven't tried it out yet but i'm going to it's now considerably later but um just wanted to come back and close out this video and as always thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it so much like you know i really do <laughs> thank you and thinking about streaming like some of the games that i play on pc or whatever thinking about it i don't know i don't know if you guys want to start you know watching me fuck up with some games if y'all with it let me know and comment something down below or something down below. but yeah that's it that's it until next time guys